Hey you guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. This is Zach from Zach's with Games. The only difference is now is that oh what is this? What is what is this and what is what is that? And all of this weird stuff in my inventory and all these Pipes? What is what is going on here? I'm just kidding. Alright. This is uh Buildcraft, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I just um found out about this yesterday or er, last night. Technically this morning because I was up to like five. But anyway. Um this is just kind of like showing you what all we're gonna be seeing in the actual episodes. Um this isn't like a tutorial or anything, it's just kinda like a you know, a thing. This, my friends, I believe is what they call it drill or a quarry I guess and what it does is I'll set it up over here wow why wouldn't it lag it only lags when I record which is so stupid because in the beginning episodes it didn't used to do this oh yeah this is a failed one that blew up because uh, this stuff actually this it's like actual machinery and stuff it's it's actually pretty crazy so, um, alright, let's do this. Well, first, I guess let's just go to a, a, dr a mining well. So, this thing at the end here, this is called a mining well. Also, I'm sorry for the, you know, the breathing sounds and whatnot. My uh, mic is really messed up, which is another reason why I haven't been recording, because um, it's it's gotten so messed up that it audio only plays through one ear, and whatnot. All right. So anyway, I'll get into that later. Um, this is a mining well. You're gonna place it down, and then right here is um, a combustion engine. And you can either fill this with fuel or lava. But if you're gonna use lava, then obviously you want a lava source or a fuel source or whatever. But you also, f to keep this from blowing up, you also want it to uh, have a water source as well. So, actually, let's go over to where my best water source is. If it'll let me fly, just fly. Come on, come on. I know you wanna. Oh, you stupid piece of crap. Alright, anyway. So while we're walking, we'll talk. Um, I don't really know what to talk about. Oh, yeah. This, obviously, well, not obviously, because if you don't know what this is, then, yeah. Uh, this is lava, and it's going into the drills here and stuff, but the, the thing is done. It's What it does is um, you can use landmarks or anything, basically, and it'll drill however big of a square you want uh, all the way down to um, uh, whatever it's called. I can't believe I've forgotten what it's called. Yeah, uh, here's my other drill. That's where I'm getting my water source from, obviously. And you can see all the water that's getting drained. Um, and then right here, I built my own little lava pit. So let's... Uh, well, we've already got one over there. Let's put one over here. And... <laughs> Like I said, I just got this yesterday, so I actually kind of don't know how to uh, um, make any of this stuff an actual survival. So that'll be interesting for episodes. But all right, so um, actually, you know what? Let's just do a quarry because um, basically that works. Um, a mining well is just something that well hell we'll just freaking put one here mining well and then we will put um you know we'll just do this one because it's the quickest and then we'll fill it with a bucket of fuel okay so you saw right here the fuel is in there now and then we will do this and then it will start digging under the ground yeah and then we can get the um wherever the pipe is there's so much stuff in this thing now right, um let's 
do the diamond one. And we'll just we'll just do this so it doesn't spit it out everywhere. Basically what it's doing is if you notice that you know all this obviously you notice all the cobblestone and sand and stuff right here, um it's all spit out because the thing was shooting it up. But now since we got this thing, this is called the transport pipe, and it's a diamond one. So now everything that's being mined, um, by the way, I don't know if I already said this, but this thing automatically mines a line straight down all the way to the bottom rock or whatever it's called, um, to the core, and then it'll stop. So if you see skips and whatnot like that, how it, it goes and then stops for a while, that's because, um, you've probably hit uh, a dungeon just in an open space but this thing keeps going until then and then I'm pretty sure uh, when it either runs out of fuel or whenever it's done mining it actually stops when it actually looks like it's done mining right now and I would go down there but the whole problem is is I can't fly when I have this lag so yeah anyway so let's get into the quarry so that's just what it does. It just mines all the way down for you, and then you can pick it up, and you can have, um, I'll, I'll show you over here. Uh, basically, what you want to do is, well, I guess first thing is you have a redstone engine, a steam engine, and a combustion engine. Now, what you can do with the redstone is redstone, I don't think, ever blows up. Um, I don't think you have to really try to maintain it or anything. Um, all you have to do is just put redstone next to it, or a uh, redstone torch or whatever, and then it goes off redstone forever. Um, steam engine, you just have to use coal, and it's only one slot. And then right here is the combustion, what we've just been using. You can either use lava or fuel um, to make that do what it needs to. And, uh, yeah, and then, then this one you actually have to keep cool so yeah it's kind of difficult but it's kind of worth it with the speed that it goes so we're just gonna put well I guess just to demonstrate the speed of it um, we're gonna put one and then come on fly stupid thing dang it I'm an idiot If you guys know how to get rid of this stupid lag whenever I start recording, because it's fine whenever, um, whenever I'm just playing normally, but if I start recording, then no, it has to flip out and ruin my episodes and piss me off. Uh, la, 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 la. All right, I think it was was it stone that I was using. Let's see if this connects. Yes, okay. So I was using stone. Oh, right here. I actually uh, destroyed this part to hopefully demonstrate. Maybe if I just look up. Nope. Alright, so... Well, it's not even doing what I want it to do anyway. I tried to destroy one of the sections of the lava like to stop the lava from getting into the actual thing so I could show you that they shut off when they're out of fuel and then once you uh, once you reconnect it or put the fuel back in then it automatically starts back up so here what we're doing is we're getting our water source to keep this cool just put it up like this, and then, uh, come on. You, there you go, that works, whatever. And, what the hell? Now, like I said, I just got this last night, so I kind of have no idea exactly what I'm doing. I have somewhat of a good idea, but there's still so much stuff that I can't even really comprehend. So, 
learning how to do all of it will be extra fun, especially in survival, since you have to go through a lot of, like, crafting and stuff just to get half of this stuff, so. And plus, apparently now you can, like, dig for oil and obviously fuel. But anyway, so yeah, as I was saying before, my um, my mic got all messed up and uh, just not good stuff. And uh, I I realized that it had been a while since I had recorded, and I really needed to fix that problem. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna record today, cause I'm just recording for you guys. Cause I love you guys so much. Anyway. I also, uh, I put in for that, um, Battlefield 3 computer, whatever they're doing, that competition thing, trying to get a free desktop or whatever, because, as I've been saying in my previous episodes, that's exactly what I need. I don't know why I'm putting it to over there. Let's, uh, let's actually see. The fullest lava is. Come on. Uh, on the side here. Maybe I destroy that and maybe that'll get it going or something. I don't know. That's going. Alright, cool. Alright, oops. No. I still want to show you guys my, um, my new multiplayer, uh, Minecraft as well, because I, I finally found a multiplayer server, and, uh, it's survival, so it's pretty cool, and the, the guys are pretty you know, cool about it too, they're helpful and whatnot. Whoa. Okay. Let's, uh, let's destroy this. And, yeah, sorry for not talking and whatnot. The lag is kind of distracting me, and plus concentration, you know how that gets me. Oh, crap. Plus, I'm also really kind of concentrating on not singing a song because I don't want to get copyright troubles. And it's stuck in my head, so I'm just trying not to blurt that out. And also, yeah. So, anyway, kind of don't know what I'm saying. Let's try this and connect that and then okay so it's kind of coming through alright so what we need to do now is we just take the one engine 
and then we put a lava bucket inside and see how the water source is filling all the water up on this side and then this is the uh, basically what powers it on the left side so there's the lava and the lava should be flowing in here pretty soon oh yeah and then I need to put a redstone torch behind it and then it'll get it going and then what it does is it actually sends a little thing in the middle here and it starts destroying everything within that square everything above everything below so if we put it in trees it would destroy all the trees and stuff just basically keep it all in line with uh, within that square and so it looks like all he has to do right now is just sand and if you notice how slow it's going with the more uh... let's check this and see yeah see how it how it's risen a little bit the lava and the water keeps rising um, i'm not really sure how to keep the actual source constant and whatnot. Oh, by the way, when it's done um, destroying everything within the square, it actually starts building a uh, perimeter. Uh, as you saw the first thing that we did. But anyway, so now we're going to do this. And bring that over here like that. and then we'll put another one right here because the more you you uh, put on the faster and more powerful it is so that's that's pretty cool did I already connect that over there yeah or at least I hope it connected ah uh, no bad yeah you can actually have like refineries and whatnot which is pretty amazing so basically I had a uh, the whole idea for factories and engines and whatnot uh, I guess basically I was talking about this and not even knowing about it cuz yeah all right so where be the lava and like I said I don't I'm not sure how to keep these pumps like constant cuz if you notice like the pump is basically it's it's connected directly to that pump and I guess it's coming up here too so let's try to bring this down and see if that helps let's put in a little bit but yeah like oh yeah by the way uh, this is what happens when you don't keep it cool it starts getting red and when that happens you look in there see there's still a lot of fuel left which means it's gonna keep going that's gonna eventually blow up so we're gonna destroy that because I don't have enough patience or time to oh hey there's a water source right here maybe I could show you just how the pump works that is not a bad idea Zach oh crap I need to uh, connect this real quick. Hold on. Let's go down here. Basically, we're going to do the same thing that we did um, with the diamond thing. Only now, we're going to do this and then get... A where is it? Right there. Okay. And we're gonna put that down there. Oh crap, no, 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 not there. Yep, 
saw that coming. No. Don't connect anything. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is good. Alright, let's just dig all the way down here. This is probably going to be a long video, and it probably already is. I actually have my cell phone right next to me, which I was going to use as a uh, stopwatch, finally. And, of course, I didn't click start because the uh, video kind of started before I wanted it to. Alright, so now we're going to... the pipe connects to a chest, obviously. And then everything that gets dug up, if you notice, all the sand and stuff is getting transferred in. And then uh, you'll see how there was nothing in there. And everything that's getting dragged in there will now pop in right there. See? And basically that just keeps filling up and, it, you know, it goes. So, yeah. And you, you just want to do that so it doesn't shoot up everywhere. And then you can also store everything so yeah it's nice um that is moving really slow oh because i've only got one thing going sorry duh all right so we've got enough water so we need lava kind of want to figure out how to look for fuel because that seems like it'd be really helpful but if you notice how slow it's going and now it's going to go a little faster. Not yet though because I don't have the redstone on it, so come on. Alright. Yeah, even if you you have a source fully getting all this stuff in you have to have a source of power which is the redstone in this case so yeah and then uh, if you don't have any way to connect all that basically you just wanna take a cobblestone or whatever you want no not do that uh, kinda build it on the side and then see if see if it works. For some reason it doesn't always work, which I don't understand because it seems like it should. Okay, good. So now all those are powered, fueled, and have a source of coolage. And now you can see how much faster it's going. Now, there is a way to make it go like uber fast and I guess you has yeah, guess you have to have like a, a actual like energy factory which is kind of crazy to think about but um yeah so i mean this is just kind of kind of a, a weird thing actually the first one that i did that i had no idea what i was doing uh... was actually the fastest one that i had going and then i have I have one over here That should still be going because I kind of fixed it before I started recording. And also, I'm sorry if I kind of sound like I'm droning on and bored and whatnot. I'm not bored, I just woke up, even though it's. Well, I guess I woke up like an hour or two ago. I woke up at 3 in the afternoon. Almost 4. Because that's just how I am. Why are you not going? Because you don't have anything entering you. That's not. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, man. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um. Stone. We'll just connect you like that. And you probably have the same problem, so we'll connect. Oh, crap. No. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. I meant 
to destroy you, stupid plant. No. And we'll just bring you over here. Like so. And you see how that one's not going yet? And once the lava reaches it, then it starts going automatically. So that's pretty cool. But this one, as you can tell, is much, much wider, or just bigger in general, than uh, the one that we just did, and that's because I used landmarks. And what you do with landmarks is, I will show you. I guess you can make it smaller. I haven't, I haven't tried that yet, so we're just going to do that. Uh, go all the way down to here. Path mark, where's a landmark? I think it's called landmark, I hope it is. Oh man. It's hard to know where everything is when you're so used to not having all this stuff. Right there. Landmark, okay. So now, if we wanted to say we we just wanted like a, a four by four we do one two three or I guess it'd be a two by two uh, two two right or would yeah just be a two by two so say we just wanted that to be this small we're just gonna make sure that everything is level it's on the same um, lines and whatnot it's all even and then we're just gonna right click it and then it does that and then all you gotta do is put your quarry right no or I guess maybe click it on there right here yeah right there okay cool I was about to shut down because of being embarrassed anyway so yeah um, then basically you just do what we already did and then it'll it'll start digging and whatnot. I'm not gonna do that. Um, also if you see this thing right here this is what uh, the quarry does, or not the quarry um, the mining well does when you send it all the way down it just mines one straight line all the way down and then that thing is down there and it picks up everything so it's pretty cool um, oh crap oh okay I thought it was falling I was like I'm never gonna get out of there um, and there's probably more but I don't really know if I want or sh not not shouldn't show you but I just don't know if I want to because this is taking way too long to begin with. Uh, oh yeah, this crafting table is actually pretty cool. What you can do with it is uh, it's called uh, automatic crafting table or something. Yep. Uh, what you want to do is let's see, we want to build a. What do we want to build? Let's say a piston. We want to build a piston. Okay, so we're gonna need redstone booyah and then well let's do this there we go and then just put that in there and then we already got cobblestone but let's fill all the way up on that and then iron ingots No. There. And then what else? Is that it? Oh yeah, and wood planks, sorry. Obviously. Alright. So let's say well also let's just get a a transfer thing too. These trees just bug the hell out of me. Alright, let's say that we only have enough for one. Uh, do this. And boom. 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 
boom, 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 boom. All right, so there we have a piston. But if you, you know, you either want more or whatever, basically what you can do is you can exit out of it, and it'll actually keep it in there. It won't pop it out like a normal one. And then let's see, what do we have in here? We have 11 cobblestone. Okay, so what we can do is we can put a wooden, where is it? All the way down here, a wooden transfer pipe. Do this one. Like that, and then like that. Uh, excuse me. Um, and then we'll do another chest. Oh, crap. No, we needed that. Dang it. I'm an idiot. Where is it? Oh, God. Alright, right here. And then we'll put a chest there. And then you can put it either behind. But I kind of, when I first saw a video about this whole thing, a guy actually put it underneath, which I thought was kind of a good idea. So I'm just going to put it underneath there like so. And then um, just to kind of quicken it, because he did it a different way, but I'm just going to put the torches down there. All right, so say um, we only have one of everything to make one piston. So if you watch the cobblestone, there's only one cobblestone. And here we have 11 cobblestone. We will get a redstone torch. Put it right there. And then right there. And then it should, I think, I'm not entirely sure. No? Maybe it's because it's from the back of it. Alright, so let's just try. Let's see if that does it. No? Oh, you know what? I think I know what the problem is. I have to start from here. So let's say we have four or three in here. No? Well, this is a fail. I can't remember exactly. Or I guess that was that was just how we did it between different things. So let's do a furnace right here. So we have a furnace, and we want some iron. So we're gonna get some coal and some iron ore. So iron ore. And coal. And then we're just going to put one iron, one coal. And that's going to um, smelt it. Like so. And then it's going to take the iron ingot. And I'm pretty sure it's going to transfer it. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm just failing. Like I said, I just I just got this, so I don't I don't really know what the hell I'm doing, I guess. Something somehow, if you have a source from somewhere and you just put the other stuff in, this stuff will transfer it into the crafting table and add whatever you have in there. So say if we only had eleven cobblestone over here, basically it would just take it and put one there, one there, one there, one there and then redstone, redstone, and then it just basically keep going and then if it made more than one it would actually transfer it into a chest for you so you could just go in there and basically just have a constant thing but I'm not sure how to do that I'll eventually figure it out so yeah anyway um let's go check our our uh our thingamabobber jigger type deal 
And the reason I'm not being so picky about having a, uh, a really long video is because I just saw a video yesterday that was like, I think it was like 50 minutes or so, and I was interested through the whole thing, so, I mean, there's got to be someone else out there that's interested in this, no matter how long it's going. So, so that's still, that's, that's going at a pretty good speed, I guess. Like I said, the first one that dug all the way down to the very bottom, which I believe I showed, but I'm not entirely certain, just in case we'll go look which is actually just where we were that's why all the chests and stuff were there because it dug a lot and I actually actually let it go overnight so I just slept right next to it and I was actually halfway asleep and I could have sworn I heard an explosion which scared me because I was right next to the uh, the big thing that I was doing so I thought that I had just completely lost everything but then I decided just to stay asleep. So, so this is the one that blew up, but that wasn't what I was just talking about. But from what I can tell, also these machines, if they're not, you know, cool, if they're not kept up to code or whatever you want to call it, um, when they blow up, they're actually more blast heavy than uh, um, TNT so and these are still going and this thing is done oh by the way I can show you this let's see uh, somehow something gets down there it doesn't do this with animals or other creatures or anything sadly I tried I put villagers in here to see if it'd kill them but it didn't so I killed them myself anyway um, you put that in there and then this thing is doing nothing interesting I'm not really sure what to make of that. It did it before. Anyway, um, I guess while it's still digging, I can show you what the other one. I know I'm going back and forth, but um, I uh, I put like. Um, by the way, this this goes through basically any block, uh, obsidian, all that stuff, and it just doesn't want to click, which is so much easier than doing uh, the whole like 30 second diamond pickaxe mining for one thing um, alright so let's say that somehow something like this happens this drill actually automatically just goes right up to it takes care of it and then continues Oh man, that'd be cool if I had sound effects. Anyway, uh, all right, and then just to show you all the stuff that's it's dug, so it's already got eight iron and all this sandstone and sand and dirt and all that stuff. And all I really care about, if this was survival, I'd only be looking for sandstone, sand, cobblestone, and this. I don't really care about dirt. Anyway. So, yeah, um, that's basically all that. Um, you can do everything else that you normally do, though, um, if you were in survival. Um, so, yay, eggs. Yay, eggs. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that's, that's basically uh, what we're going to be uh, looking forward to in the single player thing if I can ever get rid of this stupid lag and actually figure out how to build half of this stuff. Actually, I do know how to build gears, which, uh, which is kind of cool. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry for, you know, the kind of droning on and fails and lag and all that stuff, but I'm doing the best I can. Um... Well, with the equipment that I have, anyway. So, yeah. Um, 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, then subscribe. If you look in the description below, you'll find my multiplayer account, my personal Twitter, or my Facebook, my personal Twitter, and my gaming channel Twitter. If you'd like to follow me on either Twitter, like me on Facebook, or subscribe to my other channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribing to this channel would also be greatly appreciated. And as I said before, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episodes. Thanks.